needs more aluminum. <laughs> What up y'all, it's Nancy Nay. I'm just doing a short video today. Um, I wanted to do a little review on the RSC Clip-Mons. If anybody's thinking about buying them or if anybody has them already, let me know, drop a comment if you already run the RSC bars. But um, I just wanna kinda do a little overview, um, my perspective on the bars and kinda their functionality. So I'm just jump right into it. All right, so here they are. RSC adjustable clip-ons right here. Um, I'm gonna start with pros. So pros of the RSC adjustable clip-ons are, there's so many different ways that you can run these bars. Um, actually, we'll call that a pro and a con because uh, people like me, I have OCD. If my bars aren't like completely perfect or um, they have any kind of like feel where one is uneven, uh, it bugs the shit out of me. So. I guess that could be a pro and a con, but anyways, I'll show you guys how you can adjust these. So you've got one adjustment here on the fork clamp. So that means that that can have the handlebar go this way or up or back, right? Then you have an adjustment right here underneath the fork clamp. Let's see if you can see it better over here. Right? So you have your another adjustment right there that you can move the handlebar itself up and down or up this way and rise it downward. So you can get um, pretty good rise out of these right there. So what I've done is um, I used to run them all the way down, but I found that uh, when I would get in the tank, I wouldn't always be able to reach the handbrake which is obviously really important. So um, I raise them up a little bit. So when I do get in the tank, the bars are a little bit closer to me. And um, also too, your third adjustment would be this top clamp right here where you can move the handlebar itself in and out, okay? So these things are so adjustable. And again, I would say the downfall to that is that there is times where um, where I will uh, feel like, and I could most likely just be building it up in my head that the handlebars are different or they're tweaked or one's closer than the other and I start tripping and think about it way too hard. But um, giving you all that adjustability, I feel like is so key, especially because we, you know, we're all different uh, as far as what we need, um, how our wrists are, how flexible we are, how we like the bars to be angled, you know, this, that, and the other that these bars give you so much adjustability. Um, the only downside to it, and this could even be a positive too, every time I stall out in a circle, I'll come down really hard, and sometimes I tweak the bar, and then I have to unscrew them and fix it, which with my OCD, they never end up exactly the same, so then I end up tweaking the other one and then messing and go back and forth and back and forth, and I spend a lot of time doing that. Um, but again, that can also be a plus because there's times where I've crashed and instead of the bar bending or snapping, it just turns. So, you know, then you don't have to spend your, you know, couple hundred bucks to, you know, replace your handlebar if it just keeps turning. So, um, I would say overall, I'm really, really happy with these handlebars. I've used um, RSC, I've used RSC clip-ons ever since I started riding from the get. Um, I used dirt bike bars for about six months and ended up going back to clip-ons. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. Um, I think it was that I didn't really like how high my hands were and um, I'm not exactly sure why I ended up switching. But um, overall, I'm happy with these bars. One thing that I wish um, Josh would do is if there was a possibility that we had washers that we could stack underneath here to make the bar so they were perfectly raised at the specific height that we wanted them kind of like um the ndc uh um caliper bracket 
where you can uh, run a big rotor. I don't run a big rotor, but um, there's spacers right here that you would put right here to extend the uh, caliper out to run the big rotor. So what I would think would be so cool is if we could get these spacers underneath here so when we raise our clip-ons, instead of measuring them, they were exactly the same. And then when we did tweak them, um, we could get them back to exactly where they were before instead of, like I said, if you're at the lot and you twist your handlebars and then you got to measure it and do this, that, and the other. So um, that's just a quick um, video. I'm going to do a little more detailed breakdown about how you can actually run these bars, the different positions that you can run them in and what would be um, ideal for different riding types and what's ideal for arm pump, etc. So if you run RSC clip-ons, like I said, let me know. Do you like them? How do you run them? Do you run them high? Do you run them turned in? Do you run them straight? Um, I've seen people run them like turned outwards, which uh, really hurts my arms and gives me arm pump. But you know, everything works for different people, different strokes for different folks. So um, like I said, like, subscribe, comment on this video, share this video with a friend. I will see you guys in the next one.